everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing and product tour of the HTC Desire S mobile phone. Now this is a new handset from HTC, it runs Google Android and it sports a 3.7 inch touchscreen running at 480 by 800 resolution. So let's get this unboxed and have a look what you get inside the packaging. Now this might be slightly different when you purchase it as this is a review handset but the content should be more or less the same. So this is the handset itself, we'll come back to that and have a closer look in a short while. And then in the bottom section of the box we've got some various packs, let's have a look in here. This first one is part of the charger, USB connection on this end and this is where you're going to put your country specific adapter. And then the next pack we're open, this will vary from country to country, but we're in the UK, so we get a three pin UK adapter. And this goes onto this portion of the charger, a quick twist, it clicks into place, and you're ready to plug this into a wall charger and the USB cable into the other end. This pack here should contain the hands free kit, which indeed it does. Now HTC include a decent set of headphones with all of their phones, 3.5mm audio jack on this end, and then we've also got an inline, if I just pull this out and reveal it to you, we have an inline track control feature, and on the back of this there should be a little tiny hole, and this is the microphone pickup so you can make and take calls whilst you've got this headset plugged in. We also get some little extra sponges for the earphones and also a little clip in here. Let's have a look at this for you. This is just a little clip that you put on to the cable and then you can clip this onto maybe a shirt collar or something like that to keep the cable nice and tidy. And then this last package here, just open this one up. This is the USB cable and one end goes into the handset itself. The other end either goes into the charger, get this the right way round for charging, or you can de plug this into the computer, mount the phone onto your computer, and access the data, uh, photos, etc., videos that are stored on the device. So that's everything that you get inside the packaging. Let's take a closer look at the actual handset itself. So let's have a look at the physical aspects of the handset. Now this is the 3.7 inch capacitive touchscreen. It runs at 480 by 800 resolution. The handset weighs 130 grams, which is 4.59 ounces, and that's pretty good. It's uh, not too weighty, but it's definitely got a quality feel to it. 115 millimeters in height, just under 60 millimeters in width, and the depth of the handset is 11.63, so it's quite a slimline handset. Now on the front we've got the uh, sort of earpiece speaker up here, we've got a front facing VGA fixed focus camera. We've got a touch sensitive area down here with a home button, menu button, back button and search button. On this side of the handset we've got the volume rocker, nice large metal rocker, feels really nice. Micro USB connector there for charging the handset. And then on the top here, 3.5mm audio jack power on off button, this side's completely clear and then on the base we've got the microphone pickup for voice calls and if we go round onto the back we've got a little tiny speaker here and then we've got the rear facing camera which is a 5 megapixel uh, camera we've also got an LED flash alongside and it's capable of capturing 720p HD video. Now the internal memory on this is 1.1 gigabytes uh, and it's got a RAM of 768 megabytes which is really cool. Now let's just open up the bottom this is a, a unibody design on this handset so the whole back is made in one piece and then we've got these plastic pieces that come off. We open it up like this so it's a little bit different than regular handsets and the battery slides out like so and this is a <coughs> A 1450 milliamp hour battery, so a decent battery. SIM card goes in here, micro SD card goes in here with support up to 32 gigabytes, 
and then when it's all back together we just close this back down, snap it into place and put the bottom portion back onto the handset. If I can do that correctly, there we go. So that's back into place. So a little bit different way of getting into the handset, none of this taking the whole back off and it does make for a more rigid feel in the hand. So let's start this handset up so we can give you a look at what it looks like uh, with the screen running. Why this is starting up I'll just let you know about some of the sensors included. We have got a G sensor, digital compass, proximity sensor and an ambient light sensor as well. And it does actually support a lot of multimedia formats including uh, AAC, AMR, OG, M4A, MID, MP3, WAV files, WMA and it also records in AMR format. Video uh, support includes 3GP, 3G2, MP4, WMV, AVI, XVID uh, which includes the MP4, ASP and MP3 formats. It records in 3GP format. Now with regards to internet it supports 3G, GPRS, Edge and Wi-Fi, 802.11, BG and N, so nice fast uh, connection speed with regards to Wi-Fi. Now this is a quad band phone, so it supports all the GSM, GPRS and Edge bands on the uh, GSM network, which is great for the likes of obviously the UK, and it also has Bluetooth, which supports A2DP stereo. There's also an internal GPS on here. So enough of my talking, let's go through the initial setup. We are in the United Kingdom. We can have a look at how the keyboard works if we want, but we're going to skip that because we're familiar with that. We can also transfer stuff, uh, SMS messages and contacts uh, from another phone. We're going to skip that. And we can use the mobile network or Wi-Fi or set it to just Wi-Fi only. So if you haven't got a data plan, with your mobile phone provider then you would select Wi-Fi only to save yourself some money. We can automatically sync data uh, for contacts, calendar, weather etc. And we can link to a Wi-Fi network. So let's get this done and I'm going to choose the Air Extreme network and it's asking me for a password. Keyboard pops up. So that's the password typed in. Let's tap connect and this is connecting to the Wi-Fi network we should get a little extra status symbol here for Wi-Fi which indeed we have so we've now got Wi-Fi connection the next one along is for network signal battery life and then the current time so we're connected via Wi-Fi so let's tap next we've got a couple of things about Google's location service and using it for Google searches which we're going to leave those checked and then to the next section we have to agree to location consent and here we get the choice of adding some accounts right from the offset so I can add a Google Gmail account let's go ahead and do that and we're going to sign in to one of my accounts so we've added both a Gmail account and also a Twitter account just to get things up and running we can also add Facebook, Flickr uh, or even an IMAP or POP3 mail account right from the offset so everything's sort of set up when you first start the phone so let's tap next and here we've got to set the time zone but it looks like it's already picked up the correct settings so we're going to tap finish and this should launch us into the Google Android operating system with the HTC Sense overlay so as you can see it takes a little bit of time to load but I'm happy to say that it has now uh, actually loaded this HTC Sense overlay we've got some tips we can get up on the screen so when we tap these it gives us various tips we can swipe between the various screens and for example on the friend stream one when this is loaded this actually pulls in uh, my uh, Twitter stream direct into this friend stream widget so that's really cool now we've got a total of five screens in total or have we got more one two three four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven home screens in total. This does support multi-touch. I'm thinking if I remember rightly we can swipe out like that or we can sort of pinch outwards and we can gain access to particular screens very quickly. 
So I can tap back over straight over to that friend stream widget. And we tap the home screen again. Let's see what comes pre-installed. So if we tap here, this should show us all of the apps that are pre-installed on the handset. We've got Adobe Reader, Amazon MP3, a calculator, calendar, call history, camcorder, camera, car panel, clock. The list goes on and on. So a lot of pre-installed applications. The nice navigation app, which HTC do very well. The Peep application for Twitter. SoundHound, Google Talk. So a lot of applications to get us up and running, even the YouTube app residing down there. Looking very nice, we tap the home screen to go all the way back out to that main screen. The phone dialer, extremely easy to use. As you can see, and then we can go straight away back to that home screen again. So this was only ever going to be an unboxing and product tour of this handset. I will be bringing you more coverage of the HTC Desire S over the coming weeks, so please do stay tuned to the Geek and Noise channel for that. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos so you don't miss out on any of my future ones, and of course, to get my regular updates on Twitter, follow at Geekanoids. And I'll see you all in the next video. This video is sponsored by mymemory.co.uk. For great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support, visit mymemory.co.uk.